Hey guys, so first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been patient with me. I haven't updated a video in like four to five months and I still have pretty much the same amount of uh, subscribers and even new subscribers. So thank you so much for sticking with me and just being patient. Uh, you guys know I kind of have those little breaks <laughs> in between, so I just want to say thank you guys for sticking with me. That being said, what better way to come back than to, you know, let you guys know what my current favorites are. Uh, it's just a couple of items that have really been, like, I've been using, I won't say consistently, but a lot recently. And, yeah, let's just hop right into it. The first thing, it's just, uh, what I go to every day. This is the Mongo Kiss uh, Organic Lip Balm. I got this from uh, Whole Foods. This one is in peppermint. I've also have a pomegranate and some other weird one, probably vanilla or something. But I absolutely love this stuff, and it was a steal. It was only one ninety nine in Whole Foods, and normally, if you go in Whole Foods and you look at their um, chapsticks, uh, yeah, they're pretty pricey. So I was very happy to come across this. It was organic. It was cheap. I bought a bunch of them. Um, one of the Whole Foods near me doesn't sell them anymore, but I know they actually, uh, Mongo Kiss has their own website, so you can buy them from there. So I'm happy I was stocked up, so when I do run out, I will probably have to order it online, because I don't know if the other Whole Foods has it. But right now, they have been my fav uh, this brand has been my favorite. It keeps my lips nice and soft. Um, I haven't had any uh, chap lip issues, even though my water intake has been pretty much non-existent, so I absolutely love this stuff. Um, next is the Shea Moisture Olive and Green Tea Body Lotion with Avocado. I freaking love <laughs> this stuff. I can't describe the smell to you guys. It's just... I don't know, it's just amazing. Um, if you guys are Shea Moisture users and you've used their body care, you probably smell this going through the products. I absolutely love this stuff. You guys know from my 50 Random Facts video that my skin just takes every, needs everything to stay moisturized. And this is the only lotion so far that I haven't had to put in layers. So, and it smells amazing. I love pretty much everything Shea Moisture, especially their body stuff. So this is definitely a huge win for me. It's very thick, too. They also have, because you guys um, who use the body care, you know they have the lotion and the body butter. I tried the body butter, and this one is actually more watery than the lotion. So, yeah, that, that kind of confused me, but I freaking love this stuff. I hope they never change the formula of this. This is just amazing. Uh, next is the, what is this, um, Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara from Tarte. I bought this, uh, it's kind of shaky, yeah. I bought this about two months ago, just opened it about a month ago. I don't wear it every day, probably like twice a week, but I have seen so many so much changes with my eyelashes with this. Um, one of the reasons I bought it was because it didn't have all those harsh chemicals in it, and it claimed that it could, it was a, let's say their gifted part was that it could access what was wrong with your eyelashes or whatever and help. And I'm like, whatever, my main point was just, I wanted this because of the less harsh ingredients. I will have to say though, when using it only a few times, it has, my eyelashes have grown and I've had problems with my eyelashes for a while. They, I would have to like, especially with all other mascaras, it was very heavy on my eyelashes and then taking it off, I would either like pull out hairs and it's just, it was just bad. This, I haven't had that problem. I've probably had the issue once and I think that was more allergy related stuff. I freaking love this stuff. The brush, it's just a generic brush, but it's the um, formula is so light. I hardly feel like anything is on my eyelashes, and this comes off pretty easily. So I love this stuff. It's a little pricey, but for, so far I'm finding it to be worth it. They have it in a travel size. 
I was gonna get that, but I wanted it then and now, so you know, trade off. In combination with that, I recently was able to get the Miraness Eye Curl uh, for actually, like, it was sent to me. I was doing their, I don't know if you, any of you guys follow um, Mernessi, Merness. Um, this retails for them for about 50 bucks. I was able to get it for only 10 bucks, and that was just the shop uh, shipping cost during their free trial. So I've been eyeing that for a while, and I really, I was so happy to finally get it. And now that I've got it, I freaking love it. I've tried other curling eyelash curlers in the past and nothing has worked better than this. This is actually heated so this part's red right now and then you would turn it on the little um, green light comes on and it takes about 30 seconds to 45 seconds this will change colors letting you know when it's um, ready when it's warm enough and it's, it's gentle it's uh, cool I mean it's not cool as you can tell it's uh, heating up when you touch it but it's not hot uh, you put it on your eye, and if you like happen to touch your skin, it's not going to burn you. So it's pretty legit. As you guys can see now, it's starting to change colors. And you just push that up, hold it for about 10 to 15, depending on how curled you want your lashes. And it's just amazing. Um, yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this. Heat. I kept hearing things about a heated eye curler, and I just never got on it, mainly because I didn't. I didn't want to spend that much on them, so when I was able to get my hand on that, extremely happy. Definitely has helped me curl my lashes. I've used regular ones before, and it just it just sucked. So, yay! Um, next are these lovely things. Um, these are multi-use like head like accessories. Um, when I bought them, it's like you can wear them around your neck, you can wear them on your head. I use them as head scarves. I got these from Walmart. They're like two dollars each, and I mainly use them for when I go to work. Um, my job, it's they're cool with pretty much however you want to wear your hair, but I have to wear a hard hat, and so with natural hair, the, uh, that that just does not work, especially when my hair is shorter. Even when it's not, even when I've had like twists and stuff in it, my hair just gets caught and it's it's a mess. So I actually wear my satin cap, my satin cap to work and I'll cover it with one of these and I'll just walk around like that with my cap on. So these have been a lifesaver. Again, they're only like two bucks and there are so many different colors. So each day I can do something different. So these have definitely been a lifesaver for my hair. So I think I went like two weeks without, with just my hard hat, and I had many twists at the time. And the front of my hair, middle of my hair was just getting stuck in that hard hat. I, I couldn't deal, so. Found a nice, cheap solution. Uh, next, ah, a lot of you guys know, especially about the curl formers. I was looking into those a while ago, but I was not paying $40 for the set they had and I knew eventually I was probably going to need two. So I of course did what anybody would do and went on Amazon and I found these. These are like, what are these called, like magic lever rags or something like that? Anyway, knockoff version. I paid probably less than 30 bucks for these. It comes with two colors and they're just twisted different ways. So one's corkscrew, one's I mean, they're both they're both corkscrews. One's uh, twisted counterclockwise, other one's clockwise. But these have been amazing. Um, granted, I have kinky curly hair, so you know they're not gonna. My hair's not gonna stay uh, straight. I mean, not straight. my hair's not gonna uh, stay smooth. But I mainly use these just to elongate my hair, and they have been amazing. Um, I pay. I have 80 of them in here, and I paid less than, pretty much less than a pack. Of the actual curl formers so yeah freaking love these things that's all I have to say about that if you're looking if you are thinking about trying curl formers but you don't want to fork out that price definitely go on Amazon and look at those they have different ones it's awesome my last two things are not beauty items but they have been my favorites recently um, first is the Lindsay Sterling shatter me um, 
album. She released this early summer? Early summer. I freaking love Lindsey Sterling, and when she came out with this album, I immediately went to Target to buy it. I love it. Uh, she's a violinist. If any of you guys are into classical slash pop, because she crosses over, definitely give this album a try. It is is astounding. What she can do with the violin is just amazing. And last but not least, 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 last but not least, um, this is a new series by Janine Frost. It's called The Beautiful Ashes. I already am a huge fan of Janine Frost. She writes a lot of um, romance slash super, um, supernatural books and so her current lineup has been mainly vampires, half vampires, ghouls, and other stuff. Um, this is this book. She's crossed over into the angels and demons te uh, territory, and she puts a nice little spin on it. Um, love all the characters. Uh, my thing is with a book: if you can bring out emotions in me, <laughs> good, bad whatever it's a good books so definitely uh for a first novel for the new series yeah it has a few weak points but definitely can tell this series is going to be amazing so if you guys haven't already and you guys do like supernatural type books give it a try but yeah that is it i was trying to keep this a little bit shorter but anyway so yeah those are my current favorites thank you for watching thank you for staying subscribed thank you for subscribing just thank you guys so much i am determined to do better but until next time i'll talk to you guys later